In the last seven years, Uber has gutted the American taxi industry. It's launched a fleet of self-driving cars in Pittsburgh, and it's become the most valuable startup in history. Whatever. Today, Uber is promising flying cars. Flying cars. The company calls it Uber Elevate, and it says that within 10 years, it'll be running a global network of on-demand, urban, electric vehicles that take off and land vertically. Okay, deep breath here. Uber has no plans to actually build and certify flying cars. It says it's got a whole pile of technical and regulatory and infrastructural problems to work through first. And it wants industry players to come together and work through all of those challenges together. It can play that catalyst role because it has access to some 10 million users, many of whom would certainly be on board. Believe it or not, building a flying car isn't even the hard part here. Uber expects that fully electric VTOL, that's vertical takeoff and landing, will be ready within five years. And aviation experts say that's a reasonable timeline. Uber isn't alone here. California-based Joby Aviation says that within five years, it'll have its own electric VTOL taxi service in operation. And the Pentagon just gave Virginia-based Aurora Flight Sciences almost $90 million to work on its own VTOL plane, which uses a hybrid electric system and looks like a big harmonica chasing a smaller harmonica. Last year, NASA's battery-powered 10-motor Greased Lightning made its first flight. So what's keeping you grounded? Government. The same aviation experts who say this tech could be ready within five years also say there is no way the certification process keeps up at that pace. Right now, the FAA doesn't even have rules for certifying electric airplanes. It is not going to be happy about semi-autonomous aircraft zipping human programmers through SFO's glide path. Oh, and that whole taking off vertically and then flying horizontally thing? That's never even been done in a civilian aircraft. Let's say one of these companies, A, actually makes a working plane, and B, somehow gets the FAA to say it's okay to fly. And we'll even say the FAA and NASA finally implement that autonomous version of air traffic control they've been working on forever, so these things don't just smack into one another all the time. Then, how do you get this service into the towns and cities where people can actually use it? Well, that's the part Uber's actually pretty good at. It could do the same thing here it's already done with cars, meaning connecting passengers with pilots, advising them on routes, and collecting its share of the fare. Putting aside the company's dubious track record of working with governments, Uber Elevate really isn't as crazy as it sounds. And yes, I know every technology reporter has cracked on these rocks before, but guys, we might actually be getting flying cars.